Well, season eight hurt. Hey guys, it's me, Lucy, and either welcome to or welcome back to our channel, She Can Geek. Today it's just going to be me and I am going to be ranting about Voltron Season 8 if you didn't already realise by the uh, title. Um, it was definitely something, it was an event that happened. It hurt me a lot. Um, so let's get into it. So I guess I'll start. I've got my notebook here uh, full of things so I don't get too sidetracked because you know that'll happen. <laughs> so good episodes were, there were five of them that I actually quite enjoyed. So there were like the silly funny episodes um, like in the previous seasons where oh they did like the game show and Monsters and Mana and all that. Um, so the two sort of funny, relaxed episodes I enjoyed were episodes seven and eight. I actually really enjoyed uh, the sort of vlog episode documentary. That was really cool, a different way of doing it. I really enjoyed it a lot. It was great. It was a really interesting way of doing a cartoon episode. And it was, ugh, I liked it a lot. And then episode eight, uh, Clear Day, where they find where they are uh, basically did kind of they went to a carnival. Um, I really enjoyed that. I like it. Really took me back to um, the mall episode. It was really similar. Like you had everyone going off and doing their own thing, and then Keith and Hunk ended up having getting doing stuff together and. It was just really great. I, it, I really enjoyed that old aspect of Voltron. And the other episodes I enjoyed, well, uh, episodes three, four, and five. I enjoyed these because they were more so just like classic Voltron. It was the go explore things and just enjoying the normalness that they, of just like forming Voltron and saving the day nothing like too overwhelming it was just something that i knew and i enjoyed it um the other episodes oh episode one i mean if you like allurance sure but personally just the way they forced it wasn't for me at all episode two i didn't mind episode two I thought it was really interesting to find out about Minerva's backstory and everything, but I feel like they put it in the wrong spot. I feel like this should have been earlier on, like when she had just had that huge transformation in Orion. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I feel like they should have dedicated that episode just after that, like just when she returned to her normal self and everything. I feel like that's when that should have happened. Um, and then episode 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Well, for starters, 9 through to 13. Oh, that was, it was crazy. Like, the fight scenes, yes, I guess the animation for the fight scenes wasn't as good as, like, other, episodes, other seasons, which kind of made me sad because I, I love the Voltron fight scenes. Usually they just like, they give me life, but this was just confusing and overwhelming. It didn't have the same feel. And um, I, I didn't, the parts were like, just the reasons to fight, like, oh no, Voltron kept failing. And then it was just like, we are a team. We will get through this. Ugh, don't, don't mind the noise out there. Um, it was, we are a team. We can get through this. And suddenly, oh, Voltron's working again. Like, the power, the power of love and friendship just was too much. Like, there wasn't so much just, 
we can strategize and win this through strategy and like cool thinking beforehand. It was just like, boom, crazy things happen. Boom, now we're in, we're in other realities now. That's great. Oh, oh, so um, now um, Hanover's trying to get rid of every reality. That's great. Um, oh, and another thing, right at the very end, when Lance and Allura kiss, and then suddenly Lance is all Tate and Marks. That was something. I really felt like the writers, like they just seen a lot, and the producers saw like a lot of um, the fan art of like old Tay and Lance, and they're like, oh cool, let's just incorporate that right at the very end. The fans will love it. I would have enjoyed it if they had explained how and just why that was relevant. Like, there was no significance to making him have Altaian marks. Like, is he Altaian now or does he just have Altaian marks? It was, it was confusing and didn't make sense. But, yeah, it's the same with uh, episode six. So episode six was that huge fight scene on Orion. Like I said, the fight scene was just meh. It was eh. It was it was just too much. I feel like they could have just done such a better job and like going into Onerva's mind, was that really relevant? They could have done so many things better and just made it more enjoyable, I feel. Right. Another thing I think we need to discuss are ships. So, um, a Lawrence was canon for a bit. That's fine. It's just, oh, it was so rushed. Like, Allura had literally ignored Lance for like six whole seasons. Six entire seasons, she was just like, oh, Lance and his flirting, oh, Lance. And then just suddenly, right at the end of season seven, we had Allura wishing Lance good luck and then blushing, and we we're like, okay, what's this about? And then we hit season eight, very first episode, Lance asks her on a date, which is fine, but Allura's just suddenly like, oh, Lance, Lance, I love you, Lance. And it was just like, where did this come from? It was so rushed. And they had said the romance was going to be a slow burn. It wasn't really a slow burn. It just went from, like, Allura had, like, this light bulb that just kind of went, oh, I don't like Lance, to, oh, my God, I love Lance. He's, like, the best thing ever. And that was just mm, badly done. And then spoilers, if, you know, you haven't already realised... Right at the very end, Allura just like, you know, dies. So um, that's how they break off the romance. I guess that was because if that was canon right through to the end of the entire show, the other shippers would lose it, like me. Okay, this disclaimer, I'm a Clance shipper. I'm not like overly intensive as like, I'm not toxic, hopefully, I don't think I am, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel, Clance was what introduced me to this show, that's all I'll say for that, um, and like, honestly, I lived for the Clance moments, that sunset scene was the most romantic thing in this entire show, it was more romantic than Lance and Allura kissing because it had so much depth and feeling and emotion. Like, <sighs> I lived for it. And then also, they were just so supportive of each other. And then like, when Allura was in like a coma or something and Lance was sitting in the meeting room and then Keith came over and supported him and like encouraged him to keep going. And oh, and I was like, when that was happening, I was just like, hug. Please, just hug anything. Um, they held hands. That, that, I guess that's about as good as it's going to get, <laughs> other than the bonding moment. 
But, uh, oof, just oof. Um, and also another thing, so, uh, Shira got married, which is cool. I'm all down for that. I am down for that. But literally the other guy's name wasn't even said in the show. We literally just, you had to research to find his name. I believe it was Curtis. I could be wrong. The proper name will be somewhere around here if I got that wrong. Um, but I just, <sighs> yes. It just felt rushed. It was like, they could have done, they could have done that so much better. Everything this season could have done better. It was so rushed. It was so forced. There was no flow. It was just boom, this happened, boom, this happened. It was awkward and didn't flow as I've already said. Um, and then, oh yeah. One of the other great things in this show um, was right at the very end, um, when they had like the selfie with like Allura's statue in the background, and then uh, one from like a couple of years later or something, Keith's hair is in like a low ponytail, not like the crazy one from the feud episode, but that was good. I was down for that. That was cool. Um, and then I guess the final things I'll talk about because. Otherwise, this is going to go on forever. You know how, like, they had said before that um, in later seasons, they were going to talk about how Keith almost sacrificed himself. It was, like, the end of season four. Uh, he was about to run to a gold rush cruiser or something. And then, like, Lotor saved him. And, like, the only person who knew was Matt. We didn't get that answer. We didn't get that closure. It bothered me a lot. Like, why didn't we get that closure that, oh, now the team knows and, like, they supported him. And, like, there was too much of that. Also, um, Lance dying. Why wasn't that brought up again? Like, Lance died and was brought back to life. Where was this before? I feel like, no. Lance, so Lance died, yeah. Got that. And Allura resurrected him. Um, did the other teammates know about this? Or is that just something they just lost over so that Allura could just like get these magical powers and just make it magical and not giant robot mechas? And there was like one more thing. What was it? Um, oh, yes. Ocarion. Ocarion. Yes. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Ocarian. Um, so yeah, that was destroyed uh, this season. And um, we know that one Ocarian is alive because like he was like part of the grudge episode and like he broke out of his cell and whatnot. But like, what about that little kid that, um, God, I've forgotten her name. Um, but the leader of the Ocarians. Sorry, editing. Um, when I was watching over this little section, I realized that I didn't really clarify what I meant. I meant the little kid that Reiner, the leader of the old Kyrians, was talking to. Yeah. Um, is she alive? Like, is she out there with like all this tech and info? We don't know. Because it's the end of the season, series. No more Voltron, so. You know, look, um, I'm going to wrap this up now. So tell me your thoughts of season eight. Did, did you enjoy it? Because I wish I could have. I just, it didn't work for me. But yeah, just let me know your thoughts of season eight if you watched it. Or if you haven't watched it, which, okay, cool. You haven't seen it, but that's fine. Go, go check out like the first six seasons of Voltron. They're pretty good. Last two, yeah. Just make something else up in your head. Um, but yeah, tell me your thoughts of Voltron season eight and if it hurt you as much as it hurt me because season eight was a hot, hot mess. 
and now I don't know what to do with my life. Also, just letting you know, I I will also be doing um I will probably also be doing like uh reviews on like Shira on Shira and like the Dragon Prince. So if you like those shows, stay tuned for that. And um I will also be doing book reviews, as you can see on my glorious little stand here. So if you're up for any of that, stay tuned for my solo videos. Well, that's all for now. So see you in the next video, guys.